はいはいはい there okay so, so this is where we left off the previous day a cool debug <laughs> a debug <laughs> snake It takes up a lot of uh, so frame rate. The colors. I don't know what's happening. Well, the colors, I assume we we fill. We get just a random fill. Yeah, just the last fill, and it, it, it's it's immediate mode. So I think what I want to do is duplicate this thing, so we leave, so we have like several, because this is not really fair. This is actually Snake Day Two. Uh, oh, yeah. So well, right now we're day already five. day three. I think this is the third day we're working on it. Mm -hmm. So we have to check out why something's going on with the colors. Uh, there's something going on in our draw debug. This thing. Because if we disable this, now everything looks normal. Yeah, so it's just the numbers who got, got yeah. strange colors, right? Yeah, so somewhere there's like fill and this, maybe this color, I don't know. But just to be, this should be all white, for instance. And now it works. What I was thinking is zero is, is, is the empty, is, is the actual grid. Four is a border. Uh, we do use walls, but I was thinking about that wall should be in between in between cells and not in the cells themselves. Yeah. Well, you could do it in the cell, but mm -hmm. if you do it in between the cell, that's funny because then there's like more options. It could still be in the cell, but not pass to the next cell. So you can think about it already, <laughs> how to do that. Um, okay, so our debug mode works. You want to have different colors for everything. For the something? different uh, numbers? I don't think so, but no. yeah. Maybe, okay. maybe it should be red then. Okay, so our debug is red right now. It so looks like our frame rate is coming to like a grinding halt if we do this, but I don't understand why. Um, we have so a delta time counter or like a Deep in yeah, in screen counter, so as a debug as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I think our delta time it should be we are using delta time I assume, and it should be global. Yeah, or like this. I was also also thinking. Uh, also thinking we should have a maximum delta time so if you if your frame rate drops to really low now it immediately goes to the state that it should have been mm -hmm. so if, if you skip if it hangs for five seconds the game catches up in five seconds and you you're always dead but you can also say like look something's wrong so never pass this maximum delta time Mm -hmm. to say yeah. like okay now you catch up because you miss so much but we only say like it's like two two seconds past mm -hmm. so uh, it's like this and you can say hmm? hello so hello Zucker boy Zucker, Zucker boy, boy Zucker. in Germany is it Zucker like fo Fußball <laughs> soccer because the Dutch speak, we can speak German now right yeah this can can können wir auch uh, okay so where do we draw the debug here we do yeah, so let's like draw the D delta time text yeah like this so where somewhere on a square I think on a square Soccer is like, oh, it's player. Soccer is like player. Is it? I don't know. Is that player? Soccer? Spieler? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, on a square, but it's really small. Uh, the square is really small. So it's just on the top somewhere. Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, that was okay. not what I intended to do, of course. Game or player, soccer in, uh, in... Oh, we didn't know that. Who? In German, he says, like, a, a game or a player who ah. plays games is uh, okay. soccer. I did not know anything. Cool, so we learned some German as well. The stream is already stream. very informative. That's cool. Yes, so now there's a delta time counter. Yeah, it looks like to be... Formatted in uh, <laughs> milliseconds. We, we don't need to... Zero. But we do That's divide it by thousand first. Like we divide it by thousand, and now you want to uh, multiply by thousand for the debug information. Okay. Yes. I mean, yeah. it needs us to. Otherwise, we. So. And then format it with uh, like uh, just. Yeah. So how do? Think one. No, it doesn't. It can be just an integer, right? If we do it times a thousand, that gives us. The, I mean, we just need the basic information, but like six, sixteen milliseconds. You want to throw away the rest? Yeah. If it says uh, like fifty, then we know it's really slow. And yeah. So because it's JavaScript, oh, this no, works. Oh, it's English. Well, okay, but um. Okay. Well, you can, this is an educational stream, so we our English is not very advanced anyway. No, so we, we use uh, simple words, simple, simple terms. We're from from Holland. The game is way, simple. Yeah. Everything is simple. So. Uh, yeah. So we we reach sixteen frames per second. Uh, I mean, sixteen <laughs> it's milliseconds per frame. Yeah. Do you want to convert it to frames per second? I don't think so. No, it doesn't this say anything. Just, yeah. Just so this looks it. good. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do we want to do now? Our grid looks to be working. We want to know if it's on four, the snake should not. It, it should uh, uh, Pac-Man to the other side. Yeah, and, and where the snake is, it should be one, right? Where the snake is, it should be one. Yeah, we could update the grid every time we move uh, do you want to first do th that thing or fix the other stuff no just get the snake working that's a, yeah that's because it looks thing. Like yeah not finished now true so this is where we move the snake uh, yeah so every part can just set his cell to one yeah, where he is, you mean? Yeah. Like the it boss? And how do we reset back to zero? Like the position it was before? We, or mm. Yeah, so we, we subtract this thing. Well, before we update the position, we know the previous position. Yeah, that's true. So if... In the simulate loop, we just say my pos my cell is now. Yeah, uh, I mean like here, right? Yeah. So the position of this, it was a grid position if everything yeah. is well. So this should be zero. Now it should be not one. Yeah. So you should subtract the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but there's no like bit wise kind of things in JavaScript, right? Do yeah, there is. is there? there is. So we need a, a what it was. Yeah. And one. So I, I'm not good at those things. So you want to like. In, in add, no. And XOR, NOR. <laughs> what do we need here? Yeah, so this, this is going to look like this, perhaps. Uh, it could look like this. It's a bit mask, yeah. and we want it to look like this. Yeah, exactly. Something. Yeah. So, so we need whatever the rest is doesn't matter, but what our bit needs to be a zero. Always. Yeah. So what you can do is you want to remove this thing. So you can uh, exclusive or it. Is that how they do it? So like if they are both one, then it should be zero. But you can also just subtract one, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we want to do.
So let's comment. Uh, yeah, because we know it's one. Yeah. I but mean, you can subtract the snake part, I assume. Yeah. Where's my coffee? Because but, it's not going to It feels... Um, What's this? Can we later together programming? How do you want to do together programming? I mean, sure. So this feels for me, it, because it's like a relative change, like if there's some initialization problem or so that we can, we just do minus one, but it was not one, and then we get in trouble, our complete bit mask is not correct anymore. So the result of this is not for sure that we are 100% sure that it's zero, that bit. No, but it shouldn't be zero, right? The bit should be uh, the, the snake, the, the, the last bit or the first yeah. should be zero. Yeah. And now we subtract one, one. So it, like if it was zero and we subtract one, we get it like a complete strange bit mask, which we never wondered. How? Can you give an example? Because I don't understand. Like if it's zero, for instance, already. But it cannot be because we know yeah, we're here. Yeah, but it feels strange that we that we have this line and we do this relative change. Yeah. Like, well, but we have to do a relative change because the only thing like that changes. Like the first time, for instance. Yeah. Then it oh, immediately we have a incorrect bit mask. That's strange. We, well, we assume, uh, uh, we assume a certain uh, state and then we subtract one. Yeah. But if the state is not. Mm -hmm. what we expected, then we immediately have a weird bug. Well, if we would say the last bit should be zero here, then we for sure know that, that that's true, that it's, or the result is always true. Okay. Right? Or is it just a feeling? I mean, <laughs> this feels more sloppy. Yeah. Okay. What are the no, camera? maybe it's hard to explain. But uh, we have to check because these things I have to um, like. Let's do a check what this does. You just want to say just remove this flag. Yeah, I understand. And then uh, let's do some bit mask calculations and see how it works. So let's console log, and I think uh, should, does this work? Let's see, what does this log, for instance? Yeah, so this works. This is three in, 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 in binary. Um, this is as well. So what happens if you, um, so we take one number, which is like this, and we take another number, which is, uh, so we actually want to end it together with this one, for instance. And this added together, like if you log B1, this is three. But if you add them together, now you remove one, the last one. So it's two. Well, and actually you add ones. these. So an end is like if they're both yeah. zero, right? No, if they're both one. Oh, uh, of, of course. So we just get zero, zero, one, zero. Yes. Yeah, so that's two. So yeah. now you remove the last one. So this is what you want to end it with. Or mm -hmm. you could get it. You, you want to do this. And this is to do. If you do an, an or right now, you get the same things, three. But you want to do an exclusive or which I don't know what it is in, we have to look it up. So let's look at it, what an exclusive or is in JavaScript. And, oh, it's that one, yeah. So it's the hat. Okay. So now you exclusive or, so now you say one, if one is, if, if there's a one here or there, return a one. But if there's yeah, both, both zero, one. then it should be zero. And if they're both one, it should be zero. So this also gives us back two. So this is the one we want, I think. This is the easiest. Yeah. So now we just 
XOR the bit mask with this one. Where are we doing this in the simulate snake? I guess for readability, maybe not now or later, we can have functions for this. We can say like remove flag and then say like snake and then we it's easier to read, but it's not sure. Yeah. So does this work though? So now we do the exclusive or with itself. I think let's do a check again because then we know for sure. So if this is our number, let's say this is what's in the grid. And then we say do an exclusive or with this, which should remove the last one. So now it should log. Uh, with four bits. <laughs> mm -hmm. So where are we? Uh, so this 15, is one. 15, yeah, exactly. 15. Yeah. So this thing is fifteen. Or so this is one. This is two. This is four, and this is eight. So together, if they're all one, yeah, it's, it's fifteen. 15 it's but you subtract this. So you set the last one to zero. So it should say fourteen. Fourteen. And it does. So everything works this cool way. so we already should see it now in our debug view because we can but we don't set it to mm -hmm. one yet no but we can walk on the border so it should remove the four on the border if you walk there oh it sets it to one where we are now this also looks pretty cool so, so this we leave a one trail yeah do we do that well the middle one is set to one i think we do this somewhere Oh, but that's true because it's zero, and we want to remove it always, so we don't need to. We don't need this. We need to end it with. With. Uh, with what it was. No. Yeah, like do a not end because now it's zero. Yeah. And our this snake thing is one. Oh, so we need a when different it's, buffer then. Yeah. Because if it's already zero, it should still. Yeah. So if it's already zero, it should remain zero. Because we don't want to flip the bit. That's what XOR does, it flips it. But we want to set it to zero, like the last one. Yeah. So how do you set the last bit to zero? Or any bit. Yeah. So... I think maybe it's a more complex operator. Yeah, maybe like a not end or something. Or like a two. Thing. Nor. Yeah, so I would Set end it together. To zero. Just let, let's ask it. Yeah. The internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. Toggle a single bit. Yeah, so they do a bit shift. Well, this sets a bit. So what does this thing do again? Clearing a bit. Well, this looks complicated. So this ends together, this one and it, this one, and it shifts it that many places to the, which bit you want to set. And that ends, ends it together. So, but this one is the not, yeah. There's a not operator. And then end it. Yeah, so it's a not end. So I think if you say you end it together with the snake, a not end of the snake, now this actually seems to be working. What should happen on the border? It should get, it should set it to zero, right? Why? Because we removed the last one, not four. Oh, yeah. So, so it remains a border. Of course, yeah, that's yeah. what we want. So now we need to set it to We need to one. set the snake to one. To one, uh, we can do it at the end of the simulation of the snake. Or oh, well, afterwards. For each part. I wanted to do it in the uh, in the yeah. beginning as well. Yeah, of course. Two. But, but here you want to set it here. I think we update yeah, everyone. Then we have the new position, so... So we can say the new position should be... Uh, Zero should be, a uh, one should be added. 
right? Yeah. So I assume it's this one to set the bit. Mm -hmm. But is it true though? If it's already one, then still, yeah. Now it sets the head to one? Yeah. It's I think fun. because we do this. So we now set it to zero immediately. For the next part, we set the... No, but in the end of the simulation, simulate snake, we, we have a for loop which loops through all the parts, right? So it should do this per part. Yeah. So it should always do the set set it to one at last. And then we're gonna draw. So we need to see three ones. So let's see, so you have the snake part, you have the first one. So we walk through it backwards. I don't know why anymore. Oh, yeah, because we take over the next position, the so direction. Only, only the, the head, the last one. The last one gets set. Means. And the other ones get set to zero. So, but this is only for if it's not new. Well, that's, that's true for now. It should not be here, by the way, because it needs to be updated anyway. Mm -hmm. This is, though this shouldn't change anything? No. That's true. Look at our frame rate sometimes dropping, you see, to 30. See, so it flips to like 30 frames per second. So we're doing something strange. I don't know what. Um, so how are we gonna debug? this thing and now we're gonna debug the debug view is this faulty logic yeah, we can test it again so we can check for this maybe it's only the snake positions uh, one Five, yeah, yeah that's because good. we're on the border, border, so that's good. So we just don't see it. So or everything it gets is a one. overridden later. What's this? So three hundred thirty-one. It. it. The grid the length. What happens no, here? Oh, because we go outside of the yeah. uh, the the grid. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. We, so the we, numbers we no in the console, they are correct. It's all one and a five when we are on a border. Yeah, except we don't see it. So <coughs> why don't we see it? The draw debug. So this is the grid, the thing that's in the grids. So nobody touches the grid after we update snake, right? So that's interesting. Well, we do something here, right, with the grid. Don't we? Like grid slice? It should do a copy. Do we? Wish we could just do, um, we could step through it like one frame. We do one frame. That, that would be a great function. Mm -hmm. That you like do one step and you can call it uh, iteratively, uh, how do you call it? Recursively, iteratively, <laughs> so can... the game works. Yeah, we can also uh, remove all the other logic and draw functions, except snake and debug. Yeah, so in our draw loop... Well, we do that already. Draw snake, draw, draw grid. grid. That's it. And the, the simulate? The simulate snake is here. Yeah. So we simulate it here, we draw the grid, and we draw the snake. So if something happens... Only the last one is drawn to zero. This check for food should not be spawn target. Is also run run. Yeah, we can have just remove it for now. Yeah, this is strange. So we check for self collision. Okay, so 
So it, it says we ah we go backwards. So yeah. the tail is saying one, and then the next one says like my last position should be zero. So yeah, it yeah. overrides the zero, the one. Yeah, that's yeah. So yeah. the whole backwards thing is okay, the problem. Okay, so it is the problem. And of course, if we console log it at that position, it's mm -hmm. correct because we only console log the position of the current part we're doing. So yeah. we miss overwriting the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the setting it to one is at the good place, but but resetting it to zero here is is not good because it overrides the part we just set to one, which makes it more. It we already wanted to do the loop. Like not backwards but forwards, right? Which would make yeah, but we we sense. do take the, the direction of the yeah. So you want to do it from the head to the to the tail anyway, and then tell it what it needs to be, or you want to do it from the tail to the head. Like right now, we do it from the uh, tail to the head. Yeah, we loop through the snake. Yeah. And each part uh, gets the direction. Yeah, so there's from the different ways. Direction. You can also do the whole setting grid thing just after simulate snake or at the end, but that needs then we need a complete new for loop. Which might be weird. Also we never have have to set it to zero.